name is Pamela Whitenack. I'm the director of the Hershey Community Archives. Milton Hershey was born in this area um, over 150 years ago. He uh, grew up on a farm, but uh, was apprenticed to a candy maker when he was 14 years old. And he had a rough start. He was very much an entrepreneur and um, failed a couple times starting his own business, but finally found success in Lancaster with the Lancaster Caramel Company. Um, I said he was an entrepreneur and um, he was very curious and loved the act of experimenting and exploring and inventing um, when it came to candy. And he was intrigued by chocolate, so that's um, he was using chocolate with his caramels, decided to start the Hershey Chocolate Company, and um, became very intrigued with the idea of making milk chocolate. So he launched Milk Chocolate in 1900 and was really excited by that. So he sold off his caramel company for a million dollars so he could focus his efforts on making um, milk chocolate. When he started making milk chocolate, um, the chocolate company was very successful and he very quickly needed to build a new factory and he decided to come back to his birthplace and build a new factory here and he was going to use mass production techniques so that he could lower the cost of milk chocolate which at that time was a um, luxury product made only by the Swiss so he had to develop his own formula for milk chocolate. Um, when he decided that he needed to build a new factory and came back to uh, this area that's now known as Hershey, Pennsylvania, he um, wanted to do more than simply build a factory. He wanted to build a town for his workers and he wanted it to be a model town. He was among a group of entrepreneurs and industrialists that believed that if you took care of your workers, you'd have um, a better company and a better product. So at the same time that he was breaking ground for his chocolate uh, factory in 1903, he was developing plans for this model town so that when the factory opened two years later in 1905 there was um, a very well thought out plan for this model town and it was going to emphasize um, green space and quality education, um, comfortable and affordable housing for its workers, and opportunities for recreation and culture. It's pretty well known that the Hershey Chocolate Company did not use media advertising until 1970. Um, that's not to say that they didn't advertise, they just used a lot of um, maybe less conventional ways of advertising. He used um, his chocolate product to promote the town and he used the town to promote his chocolate product. One of the ways he did that was that for about 10 years, um, from about 1909 to 1918, he inserted um, specially sized chocolate bars that had images of the factory and the town and the amenities of the town on these postcards. And these postcards ended up distributed across the United States. Um, we have them postmarked from uh, Alaska and from China, um, just all over the world. Milton Hershey had a very strong conviction that the youth of a community were its future and the way youth were going to move forward was with a quality education, opportunities for um, good education. So he was very supportive of the Derry Township School District. In fact, even before the factory was completed, he's giving money and land so that the township school district will build a high school, which was very unusual in an area that um, was very rural and most children were not going to go to a high school. They were living on farms and they were going to you know, work on the farm. But um, and Milton Hershey continued that commitment throughout his life. He would build buildings, furnish the buildings, and then donate them completely to the school district. His commitment to education also continued in the 1930s during the Depression when he started the Hershey Junior College, which offered two years of free college education to residents and Hershey workers. And today, the Derry Township School District is well known for the quality of its education and um, its role in the community. Um, people tend to not know that as much as um, they tend to focus on Milton Hershey's commitment to education through the Milton Hershey School. But really he had 
um, that commitment to youth in general, um, helping the impoverished youth through Milton Hershey School, but helping the community's youth through its, its donations and support of the Dare Township School District. Milton Hershey, in addition to recreation, thought that um, opportunities for culture and sort of continuing education were very important parts of a, a community life. And so um, he built a, a number of things that are still very much part of the community today. Um, he introduced um, hockey, which today we see with the Hershey Bears. And for hockey, you need an ice skating venue. And um, as the, its interest grew in that, the venues grew larger and larger, so that today we have the Giants Center. He started a zoo in 1910. Um, which, because he thought that people should have an opportunity to, to learn, and, and zoos were very much an educational um, venture, it's particularly in an age where you know there's not television, there's you know movies are, um, they're not showing too much in terms of wild animals, and so the zoo was a, a great opportunity for people to learn about um, just wildlife around the world, and today we have Zoo America. Um, there was uh, very early on in 1915 a convention hall that was built to um, allow conventions and major performers come to Hershey. In a town that had less than a thousand people, this um, building, the convention hall, um, seated 6,000 people. And it really started Hershey's uh, reputation as being a destination. Uh, major performers like um, John Philip Sousa's, Sousa and his orchestra, and um, oh, major opera singers and other great bands played in Hershey in the teens. And that tradition continued with the start of the ballroom. So you see um, during the 20s and 30s and 40s, all the major big bands, um, Benny Goodman and Tommy Dorsey, all of them came here to Hershey. And that tradition really is very much a part of Hershey today. Hershey is a great destination for major entertainers.